Um, here I've got uh, five quick wins for students who are more able in the subject areas of art, photography, graphic design, food and nutrition and design technology. Uh, firstly, art galleries are a fantastic resource for the whole family actually. All the major galleries have got online resources, virtual exhibitions and lots of interactive activities that children can access. They range from uh, primary school children right up to A-level school children. Tate is fantastic, the Tate Kids site has got lots of interactive projects on and uh, months and months worth of stuff to do and discover on there but do search online for other galleries as well. YouTube is a wonderful resource for tutorials, um, in-depth detailed art lessons on how to complete certain techniques. It's invaluable actually and we often point uh, the more able children in that direction when they're deciding to um, trying to particularly master a technique. Uh, research and inspiration is a very important component of GCSE and A-level art. Um, and for more advanced Key Stage 3 students as well, it's quite interesting. These two websites are phenomenal. They're really useful. They allow students to search by theme or by artist or just to browse what they're interested in. And they're very up to date and contemporary. It's always worth a look. Um, BBC Bite Size is just a brilliant resource for all subjects. Uh, you can find quizzes, revision guides, lesson activities, um, inspiration, film clips, uh, pretty much anything you need to engage further in a subject or refine the knowledge you already have. It covers all of the subjects in the DART subject area. It's particularly good for photography. Um, I have to say, although over the recent lockdown, BBC updated all the resources on their site, so it's very extensive for all subjects. Uh, DT has one go-to site we recommend for GCSE students, and uh, that is Technology Student. It shows them everything they need to do for their GCSE portfolios. It even gives them templates and exa example portfolios to follow.